start recording in this video I'm gonna introduce how to set up a basic Spring MVC project using XML obviously I'm gonna, I'm gonna using a uh, Maven okay so first I'm gonna use this slide to introduce the main component in Spring MVC by using the code As we know, in Spring MVC, there are five major components or called the five major interfaces. The dispatcher servlet, the handle mapping, the controller, and uh, the view resolver, and uh, the view. So the first thing is uh, if we are using XML, which means uh, we are using web.xml file to configure our application. So in the deployment descriptor, which is the web.xml file, you have to configure for the dispatcher servlet. So let's take a look at our configuration here. You have a servlet mapping and the servlet. Okay, the servlet mapping you will have only one, which is the UI pattern is configured as a slash. When you have a slash, it means all the request that comes. Okay, it's gonna handled by this servlet. And based on this internal name, we're gonna find this dispatcher servlet, which means in this case, for all the requests that comes, it's gonna be handled by this dispatcher servlet. And we're gonna have a init parameter here. This init parameter tells how to find the configuration files of the spring. In this file, you're gonna config, tell Spring where to initialize those beans, okay? And also in this file, you're gonna see how to configure the view resolver. So now let's take a look at for this file. In this file, for this lecture, we're gonna have a more focus on the view, uh, view resolver, but uh, probably you are using this too. The first setting here, it tells, ask the Spring to initialize all the beans in this package. You can have multiple package, you can separate the package using the comma based. And uh, when Spring, when you deploy your application, Spring will initialize all the beans for you. If you annotate it with a controller, annotate it with a component, annotate it with a service and a repository. And what does this line of configuration do? Because inside the controller, you might be using other annotations like a request mapping, get mapping, uh, post mapping, uh, request prime, path variable. This configuration makes sure they are active. You can use them. We will introduce this one in the later uh, videos, so let's skip for now. And you also have a very important one, which is a view resolver. Because in your controller, you're gonna just return the logic name of the GSP. And the, the spring, uh, dispatcher servlet, we are using this view resolver to find the actual location of the GSP files. And internal resource view resolver is used to resolve for the GSPs. Now let's take a look at the code. So for the handle mapping, dispatcher servlet, view resolver, you don't need to write the code. You just need to configure for them. Because those handle mapping, dispatcher servlet, those are done by the spring. And what's the code you have to write? First is the controller. You have to create a controller and in the controller you can have the methods and we have a method here which is like the root when you start up and this is gonna be the view name okay this is a logical name view name and what the dispatch server is gonna re, uh, resolve eventually get is this name so it will use the view resolver config this is a prefix and a plus the logical name and plus this suffix so which will resolve okay this is the actual file i'm gonna be forward to and eventually in the in your page okay in your browser gonna display whatever inside this welcome.gsp file 
that's it for the slides and I'm gonna upload another video about the code. Thank you.